seventy percent, according to this uh, survey, seventy uh, percent of, of children have access to pornography, and we're talking about children, not adults. Children, seventy percent, and that's seven out of ten. Hi everyone, it's your co-host Mag Gonzalez. As you guys know, I've been missing for a couple of videos, but I'm glad to be back here. And as you know, we have our host. He's back. And what's <laughs> up everybody? I am your host, Daniel Barron, and welcome a God first with DM. So um, this time around in this video, we're gonna be talking about a story that happened a couple months ago regarding MasterCard and Visa with uh, the Pornhub website. So we'll be discussing what happened in that story a little bit about the Pornhub website and how big it is and how um, detrimental it can be and why we as Catholics are not allowed to watch it and should not watch pornography. So to start off with, um, yeah, MasterCard and Visa blocked their cards from being used on the Pornhub website. Um, so uh, an opinion columnist, Nicholas Kristof of the New York Times said, Pornhub site is infested with rape videos. It monetizes child rapes revenge pornography, spy cam videos of women showering, racist and misogynistic content, and footage of women being as sophisticated um, in plastic bags. What was Pornhub's response to this? Pornhub said it is, responsible, it is irresponsible and flagrantly untrue to suggest that it allows images of sexual abuse of children on its site. Since then though, Pornhub has taken down many videos from their site which um, should be alarming, right? To see if, if their, if their uh, statement was true or not. All right, Michael, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the site and how big the industry is? Okay, so first off, as we all know, Pornhub is one of like the biggest um, porn websites out there in the internet. So um, statistics, Pornhub has claimed that they had 42 billion visits last year in 2020. Which is crazy, like to think about it, like, there's seven billion people in the world, right? Mm -hmm. and, and and you know this porn site is, is claiming that they had 42 billion sites um, like eight times visits on their site last year, mm -hmm. right? Which is about like what did you say like six times, right? Six, six eight actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which is which is just crazy the the amount of people viewing this content, right? Mm -hmm. So as we may all know, it's a multi-million dollar business in our country alone. And that's with a B, not, not multi-million, multi-billion. Uh, just so it's crazy how much mm -hmm. power and influence they have, right? And the second is that 70% uh, of children viewing pornography of, on the internet do so in public schools and libraries. Uh, this information is based on the internet, the internet online summit. Which is crazy, 70%, according to this uh, survey, 70% uh, of, of children have access to pornography, and we're talking about children, not adults, children, 70%, and that's seven out of 10, um, you know, in public libraries, in, in school. Um, and it's, it's just really, really sad because, um, you know, as we're gonna discuss later, but you know, children, especially being hugged onto this at an early age can get addicted to it. And there's just many consequences down the line, right? Mm -hmm. Michael, do you wanna kind of define to us how the Catechism of the Catholic Church defines pornography as? Uh, sure. So the Catechism defines pornography as removing real or simulated sexual acts from the intimacy of the partners in order to display them and deliberately to third parties. So it's, it's a pretty, I mean, basic definition that we all know too, right, as to what pornography is. Um, but, you know, we've, we've talked about the story, which is, you know, that Ma Ma MasterCard and Visa are um, not allowing their cards to be used on the porn site website and it's because of claims that they're using um, videos of rape and, and molestation and all that um, and we talked about how big of an industry and how um, powerful it is with with the money um, and the amount of people that view it but us as catholics michael why, why can't we uh why aren't we allowed to watch porn what, what are some of the reasons why the church has set out and told us um why we can't watch it so one of the reasons for that is being uh, pornography offense against the virtue of chastity. So as you know, the church teaches this and we're called to lead a chaste life until marriage. Yeah, you're right. Um, you know, and that's, that's one of the, the things we're always called to, right? Um, being chaste, um, saving yourself for marriage. 
And one of, like, or like what you shared, one of the, the ways pornography disrupts that is it limits um, the sexual act to, to, to nothing really, right? Um, and it offends uh, and it goes against that, that, that charity, um, mm -hmm. I mean, that virtue of, uh, of, cha of being chaste. Mm -hmm. And the second reason that we have here is um, porn pornography offends the dignity of the participants, meaning the actors or people that are involved in filming those um, sexual acts. Which, which is, if you really think about it, um, God created us for, for, for more than, than just that. Um, and, and the way pornography, um, you know, offends the dignity of the, of the participants is that it exploits them, right? That it limits them and their dignity to profits. And that's why, that's why this industry is just so profitable, right? We, we said it's not a multi-million dollar industry, it's a multi-billion dollar industry, right? And the fact that it, it's profiting off of limiting um, and exploiting other people is just unchristian-like, mm -hmm. right? And you, by you watching and you partaking in, in those videos, you're, you're partaking in that exploitation. You're partaking in limiting other people um, for your self-pleasure. Mm -hmm. And lastly, the, um, those who engage in pornography immerse themselves in a fantasy world withdrawing from reality. Do you so, want to explain a little bit of what yeah. that means? So, um, once again, like, like how Michael was sharing, um, you know, by you watching pornography, you're, you're entering into this, this fantasy world, like how you said, right? Um, when when you get married, that, that's that's genuine genuine love, right? And what do I mean by that, right? Genuine love is loving the it's it's this selfless love, right? It's it's giving um, love to other people and not expecting anything in return, mm -hmm. right? And, and when you lead into to the road of pornography, um, it entices a person to withdraw into a selfish world of perverted fantasy, which may later be act it out in a detrimental and be detrimental to one or others because when you watch pornography you you take those thoughts that idea and bring that into your relationship it's not a that's not a, a genuine love anymore it, it's it's a love where you're using other people and that's not love at, at the end of the day and like i said it could be detrimental not only to you but to your relationship right and that's why the church also calls for us to, to not partake in this. And once again, I said, once again, like I said, um, by you not even being an actor, not even being part of the industry, by you watching the videos, you're participating in the exploitation um, of, of the actors, limiting them um, and, and allowing this to continue, right? If no one watched pornography, um, the industry would go bankrupt. But the fact that people watch it, um, has led to, to the expansion of it um, and the, the continue like demoralization of, of people. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that's why we should, we should you know, stop, um, stop watching it. And I'm, and I'm glad that, micro, that um, Visa and MasterCard are um, banning their cards on their site. That's great news for, 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 um, for those that you know, wanna ban pornography. So, and uh, I just wanted to say uh, just a message for those people that uh, probably the viewers, um, you might be struggling with uh, masturbation, you know, watching pornography or just these sexual sins that might appear to you. I would just like to say, like, get closer to Christ. You know, if you ever have fallen into watching um, this content online, like, we, we always know that we could seek the sacrament of reconciliation and repent and try to build a closer bond with Christ and to lead us away from all this sexual immorality. Yeah, thank you guys for watching once again. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, it's great to have Michael back in one of our videos. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.